Hi, this is Tyson with another SketchUp Skill Builder. Today, let's talk about printing and printing to scale, which you can do directly from SketchUp in both SketchUp Pro and SketchUp Make. If you have SketchUp Pro, you do have layout and you should use that actually. It will work much better. But let's talk about the nuances of printing directly from SketchUp. Okay, in my model, I've got this simple deck. And the first thing I want to show is that my printer settings are going to become important here. And right now I'm set for a US based letter paper, 8.5 by 11, which is in portrait mode. Because I'm set up that way, what SketchUp will do if I try and print this is it's going to print this entire screen. It's not going to focus just on the model. So if I say file print, you can see it's taken all of this extra space and the print is actually fairly small. As another example, let's rescale our window. So let's say it looks like this. Now if I go to print, you see it's even smaller because it's using all of this extra space. Again, it's just accounting for the window. So the thing to know about printing from SketchUp is that you want to optimize your view. Say let's crop in on our model here and see what this looks like. And this looks a lot better. If we wanted to crop in even tighter, we would want to match the window size even closer to this page size. So let's look at that. And here's where you'll just need to zoom and orbit and try to find the optimum view in relation to your page size to get a decent print. Now this is for general printing. If you wanted to print to scale, you can do that as well. Let's revert back. But to print to scale, you need to turn perspective off. So I'm going to go to camera and choose parallel projection. And then through the camera menu, I can also go to my standard views and choose a standard view of, say, the front. Of course, I could do that through these icons here as well. But from this, now I can print to scale. But again, it's going to take into account all of this extra space. If I say File, Print, sorry, File, Document Setup. And this menu will be a little bit different on a Mac versus a PC. So we'll show both. Here on a Mac, I'm going to turn off fit view to page and on a PC I will turn off fit to page and use model extents. Make sure those are off and then the print scale I can say let's say one quarter or actually let's do one half. One half inch is going to equal one foot. And already I'm getting an idea that uh, it wants to fit it on two pages. I said OK. And then go to print to preview this. It shows me that it's still, it's trying to take into account all this extra space. So I don't want that. Let's cancel. Let me crop in tighter on this and see if we can fit this in one page. Okay, there we go. Now it works and that's a full half inch scale. And of course I could change this to be quarter inch scale, eighth inch, one tenth, etc. So that's the that's the trick to printing um from SketchUp directly is you need to be aware of your view size and your printer setting. Of course, if you're printing on a different size page or using 
landscape or portrait orientation, it will change all this. But you need to keep those two things in mind. So with that in mind, here's a tip for uh, printing and getting an idea of what things will look like. So for example, in this here, I could draw a rectangle. And since I'm using a letter sheet, I will make it eight and a half by 11. So now um, I have the size that I know I need. I'm going to delete this inner surface and make this a group. Now if I take a copy of this and I will scale it. And what this does is gives me an idea of if I wanted to print this out, here's how it could potentially look on a sheet, eight and a half by 11 sheet. And then I could try to match my screen um, to that sheet. This will take a bit of back and forth zooming and panning and, and maneuvering your screen, but you can, you get the idea of how it can help you to generally frame your view. One more thing you could do with this type of Uh, this this <clears throat> rectangle that represents your page is you could scale this up by a factor that matches the printout scale you're trying to use. So, for example, if I wanted to print this at one quarter scale, I could take four uh, for my one quarter scale, four times 12, which is 48, and I could scale this up by 48%. And now I know generally that this is how the model would look at 148 scale on a sheet of eight and a half by 11. Um, in fact, this, uh, if I wanted to take this model and say, okay, my eight and a half by 11 view here, um, let's try making it a landscape orientation. And then my model, I will copy and rotate. And I should be able to get several views if I wanted to working on an eight and a half by 11 sheet. Again, cropping in and making this work so that it would fit on that sheet. So there's a couple tricks that you can use when you're printing. Uh, directly in SketchUp. It's not a precise science. Again, if you really are uh, doing a lot of printing, that's what layout is for. It, it has all these tools um, situated much better. But if you're using SketchUp Make and just need some scaled printouts or just having trouble fitting, getting your prints to look the way you want, then hopefully this was helpful. Give it a try. Cheers.